How's it going, lads? Marshall here, and welcome to another review on the channel. Today we have a Portuguese can from Leipzig. It is Bruma. Well, it's a player known as Bruma because his name is far too hard for me to pronounce. It's Amindo Tu Na Bangna. So, um, yeah, we're going to review Bruma today. So, lads, if you do enjoy, you know what to do. Bring the bloody hype. On Son yesterday, I asked for 1.5k likes. How many likes did I get? 1.8. K likes. Honestly, lads, the support is overwhelming. Thank you so much for your support on this channel. It means the absolute world, not only for the channel itself, but for me in general. It means the absolute world, so thank you very much. And if you do enjoy this one, you know what to do. Like I said, bring the bloody hype and smash that like button. And let's see if we can crack 1,000 likes yet again. If you are new to the channel or anything like that, drop a subscription, put us content daily. And um, yeah, there's a lot more exciting things to come in the future. So subscribe to the channel if you're not, and click that little bell as well. Now, we're going for Bruma today. Lacazette came out, of course, and did Sammy Kadira. Sammy Kadira, I don't think I'm going to do. Like I said, I could do it tomorrow. I've got like a, an appointment in the morning, which I've got to attend to. Then if I do get back and do get it in time, I will get Lacazette out tomorrow. But lads, we're here for Bruma, who can play calm person. Well, not, not striker, just calm. In general, that's literally the only position he can play. So uh, I'm using him in a 4 2 3 1 as a wide calm and a 4 1 2 1 2 as a central calm to see which is his best position. So lads, Let's get into the review. So here we go then, lads. And the price of this SPC as of right now on the Xbox and the PlayStation is 30,000 coins. Meaning it's one of the cheapest SPCs this week. You look at Terrera, which was like 25k. It's 5k more than that. Is he as good as Terrera? I don't think so, but he does have some amazing, amazing stats and some terrible, terrible stats, I will tell you that. Now, I'm not sure on his record right now. You'll see all his goals and assists once we do hit the gameplay, but he's got a four-star skill move set, fantastic four-star we put as well. Heights, medium work rates, great work rates for the guard, and great work rates for the camps in general on this game. To move beyond the strike every now and then is what you've got to do. And lads, he's got pace to bloody burn. He's got 97 acceleration and 93 sprint speed. As you can see on your screen right about now. Unreal, unreal. That acceleration is so key to uh, how this guy plays because he is that quick. And like I said, uh, he can burst beyond the strikers. And once he gets in behind, uh, you're rarely catching this guy with the 93 sprint speed that he does possess. In terms of the rest of his stats, it looks pretty damn average. I mean, strength 56, aggression 67, uh, shite. Um, the rest of his stats, long pass 66, the volleys of 64. He did score a cracking volley for me in the gameplay as well. But volleys on this game, as you know, are kind of broken. Uh, in terms of short passes, it's 78, hence why I've got a dead eye on the card. To boost the finish and to boost the position in long shots, short power, even though it doesn't really need boost at 86. And there's uh, the short pass as well because it's only 78. But in terms of the passing, I do have that as a con. It's not just passing in general, it's the passing category in general, because 72 vision, not great, and it does affect the card because of his field of vision. He can hit a ball. If you look at his stats, you look at 78 long shots and 75 finishing and think, you know what? This guy's going to be shite in front of... He's actually not that bad in front of goal, man. He can definitely hit a ball in this game. That's in, a, in the 80th minute of that game to win the match. He can definitely hit a shot in this game. Time finesse, normal finesse, uh, chip shots. You'll see it all in this review. Just look at that finesse, man. That is perfection right in the top corner. And rest, uh, the rest of his stats, you look at the dribble and 96 agility, 93 balance. Unbelievable. As you see, the volley I was talking about here. Yeah, flicks it over one. And then he just cracks it right in the top corner. 64. Four volleys, you're taking the pace, you're taking the bloody pace, but that is a sensational finish. He's got 77 reactions, which aren't the greatest stat in the world, but um, he does what he can do with that 77 reactions as he gets him behind the defense here, and it's a nice little finish. That wasn't timed or anything like that. It was just a finesse near post, and it goes in the back of the net. Easy as you like. He's got 85 ball control, so his first touch and his control in general are fantastic. It really is, and he's got 90 dribbling, which, if you add up, he's like a Jody, he's balance, he's acceleration, he's dribbling stat his ball control and then look at the strength he's so damn evasive of that if you can skip past challenge after challenge after challenge after challenge do that all game do that all game because he is very weak if he does get caught he will hit the ground like a second shot i mean he's only got 56 strength man you gotta take that into consideration and the aggression as well he's got no fighting him whatsoever he doesn't Tackles on this game does not interest Bruma in the slightest. Look at that though, the fake shot to sell that defender. He went to the shops, he went down the sea, he went to river boating or whatever the hell you want to call it. He went canoeing, that's the one I was thinking of. But uh, yeah, he had no chance against Jeffrey Bruma. I always call him Jeffrey Bruma 
and Swale has the centre back, but uh, Bruma goes in behind the defence. That's a nice little nonchalant chip over the top of the keeper, but that's what you've got to try in those situations because his composure isn't that great. So if you went for a normal shot in that situation right there, the keeper would have saved it. His composure is only 74. It has to be a corner. And um, because his composure is that low, it's um, it ruins him from like playing striker or centre forward or anything like that. And uh, ruins his chance conversion rate from time to time. Passing is bad. Like I said, the passing category is bad. But he did assist two goals. As you've already seen uh, the Mbappe one right there. I think you'll see the other one next. But um, he, he does that like the high five with Mbappe and gives him a little cuddle there. As you've seen on the screen. In terms of the pros with this card then, the dribbling. Like I said, very, very evasive but also very very quick as you see the second assist coming up here he's kept his balance there he kept his balance so well on that dribble because he didn't hit the ground he didn't hit the ground there he got slid kept his balance kept on going assisted sauna and it goes to go in that match and it was it was needed it really was as you see um it's Mbappe on the ball Mbappe turns his man Mbappe through to oh my god what's a attempt off the post and he does finish there at the second attempt he's got the four star combo four star skills four star week First. Love that about some of these cards in the Footmas promo. There's been a lot of negativity around this promo, but there's some cards with 4 star, 4 star, which I actually do like on this game. Um, shop power. Shop power I want to talk about because you've seen some crackers, some corkers, some thunder. Do they call them Thunder Bastards or something? I, I don't know, man. You've seen some amazing strikes in this uh, review. And it's all down that shot power, man. I, I don't attribute it to his finishing or long shots. I attribute it down to shot power of 86. Plus 10 with a dead eye goes to 96, of course. And um, I do attribute it all down to that. In terms of the pace, 97 acceleration, 93 sprint speed. You can't complain about that in the slightest. Fantastic start. Now, in terms of cons, the passing category in general just isn't that great. And in-game, his crossing wasn't great. His, uh, his long pass to kind of switch the play and whatnot, it's only 66, it's not great. And when I had him at Lamb, and I was like switching the play to the Ram, like Mbappe, it just, it wasn't going anywhere, man. It was shockingly, shockingly bad. And um, the field of vision, which is only 72. Short pass wasn't actually too bad with the card. I could create chances, and his creativity wasn't actually too bad with uh, doing that. His composure is a con, it's only 74, and in front of goal, one-on-ones, you gotta go for the unexpected, let's just say that, like uh, a fake shot where you stop the ball, you walk it in, they move the keeper, you tap it into an empty net, or you go for the chip like you've seen in this review. Uh, aggression, he's got no fighting him whatsoever, and if he does have fighting him whatsoever, he's got no strength to back it up. So, in terms of that, he's uh, he's very, very weak on this game. So he does have a lot of cons, he does have a lot of pros, he's got a lot going for him, but he's got a lot going against him. Is there any better players on this game than uh, Bruma? Of course there is. There's loads better than Bruma on this game. You look at the likes of uh, Keita Balde Jao, very, very similar cards between Keita Balde Jao and Bruma, which you will see in the similar players. Let's just uh, turn the slide on now. Uh, this is a slide, as you can see, he's getting a rating of an 8.0, the value points of an 8.0, and the enjoyment rating of an 8.6. I'll talk about all that in just a second, but as you see by the similar players, Keita Balde Jao is in there, the most similar to this card. We have um, Gabriel Jesus in there, who's just got an inform, of course, just for his pace and dribbling, because they are quite similar to Bruma's. Gabriel Jesus Zeus's finishing is greater than Bruma's on this game. And we have Raheem Stone again for his pace and his dribbling, which uh, it does replicate towards Bruma on this game. If you can use that kind of dribbling technique, the, the pace that he's got to your favor, it'll benefit you in the long run. It really, really will. So in terms of that overall rating, let me explain that right now. 8.0, it's not a great rating. It's a, it's a good rating. It's not a fantastic rating. Now you look at the likes of... Um, I don't know, the, the recent reviews, like uh, Young, Min's, uh, Young Min's Son and stuff like that, he's actually scored a banger tonight, or it's a goal in general against Arsenal, I don't know if it was a banger or not, I call everything bangers lads, it could be a tap in from two yards, it's a bloody banger, but um, yeah, he's getting 8.0 in that category because he was effective in the games, he was effective in the games, and I've got to give him that, his stats are good in certain areas, they are terrible in other areas, but um, he was effective in the game, so he's getting an 8.0 in that category, value for coins, 8.0 as well, like I said, there are many, many cards, better than this Bruma, but he is only 30,000 coins at the same time it's not too bad of an SPC. It's one of the cheaper Footmas SPCs that you can possibly get. I know he's only 82 rated, but he actually isn't too uh, too shabby for an 82 rated card in this game. Enjoy on 8.6 because, like I said, 4 star, 4 star, great pace, great dribbling, and a decent finish on him from time to time, especially those finesses from outside the area. Sensational. I just enjoyed that, man. I really did. 8.6 in that category. Foot champs ready. There is a lot better than this card, like I mentioned. So he is getting a 6 out of 10 in that category simply because... 
Um, yeah, this, this, this is a better place, and it's kind of great. He's not like an end game player, he's, he's just a stopgap. He is the stopgap player on this game. I saw, I would describe uh, Bruma as a stopgap, because that is exactly what he is. In terms of the links, a perfect link, there is none. There is none in terms of perfect links to this card. Strong links, however, the likes of Timo Werner. You got that footmas card from yesterday, I think he was called. Uh, what was he called? Scratcher? Scratchia? Scratchia? I, I don't know, man. I don't know. But um, you've got that guy as well, the left back from Leipzig. And you've got uh, the other guy from Leipzig as well, and Sabitzer. And you've also got a Portuguese player in the Bundesliga. That player is Renato Sanchez. What a kind of partnership that would be, having them in a 4 one 2 one 2 or something like that. Give them a strong link to Bruma. Bloody brilliant. And then you can get a weakling involved. And the one, the only, Cristiano Ronaldo. That would be bloody amazing. Marco Royce, another weak link that you can throw in there. And so is Robert Lewandowski. In terms of the best, in terms of the position that um, he's in, he doesn't come close, man. He doesn't come close. He's nearly two rated card. And uh, out of the top 10 in the Bundesliga for the position, center, well, not center forward, for Cam and center mid, he comes like 15 for something like that because you got Marco Royce, 90. You got Rodriguez, 89. Thiago, these are all UCL cards. Thiago, Kagawa, Taliso, and Goreska, all above 84. Then you got Inform Sabitzer, Inform Witzel, who got that Inform today. Footstop Gilvoji, who is a great card for a centre midfielder in this game. 84 rated, and of course, that UCL Sanchez that I've just mentioned just before. Also, had an 84 rated card. So, once again, he doesn't come close in terms of comparing to Marco Royce and whatnot. Royce is on a different bloody planet than uh, Bruma on this game. In terms of the key broad, it has to be his pace. I mean, he's electrifying on this game. You've seen that from the cliffs, and he was running behind when he was like running a place, committing place. He was electric, and his dribbling was sensational. The key con will be the strength because he is very, very weak on this game. Honestly, tap on the shoulder, he's diving to the floor. He's, uh, he's like, um, it's like one of those memes, man, where you tap someone on the shoulder and they just dive to the floor instantly. That is what Bruma would actually do on this game. In terms of the best chem style, I went with Deadeye. Um, Deadeye is good for the card because it boosts that shooting and the passing, which are the two categories that need massive, massive improvement. You look at the physicality as well, only 66. That needs a massive improvement as well. But I don't think there's any chem style on this game that's going to boost strength from 56 to get it to an adequate level for my liking anyways. So Deadeye would be the perfect chem style on this card. And I would recommend that because if you look at the rating per position, uh, he's getting an 80 as left forward, left wing, le right forward, uh, and right wing. A very good rating there, even as a centre forward, and an 87 rated Cam. Anywhere else is a bit hit and miss for this card. I'd definitely play him Cam. That would be my position uh, that I would su suggest to you guys. But like I say in every single review, it's up to you whether you do the SBC or not. Nobody can tell you, do this SBC, don't do this SBC. It's completely down to you. But lads, if you have enjoyed my views upon the card, or if you've Enjoyed the review in general, and um, yeah, you want to see more from myself, you want to see Lacazette tomorrow, if I do get back in time for my appointment, I've got to go for a scan and whatnot, but everything should be uh, should be fine, it's a very early morning one, so I should get back to do that Lacazette, but anyways guys, hope you have enjoyed this one, if you have, you know what to do, bring the bloody hype! Smash the hell out of that thumbs up button. 1,000 likes today is your target. Subscribe to the channel if you're new around here. And as always, lads, I will catch you all next time.